Right folks, this is our room review of Hotel Vacanzi Urban Boutique in Coralejo, Fuerteventura. So when you come in, right in front of the door, you've got this little kitchenette area. It's pretty well stocked. So you've got like a two ring hob here and what looks like a microwave. And you've got some cups and bowls up there. And then over here, we've got coffee machine, kettle, don't know what the other thing is. And you've got your sink, there's a dishcloth there, and you've got your soap as well. Down here you've got a bin and some clean washing up stuff. And then you've got a full size, like sort of single fridge down there, which is always nice. In this one, you've got all your cutlery and a bottle opener and that sort of stuff. This one here, there's loads of plates and bits and pieces and bowls if you want to make salads and that sort of thing. And then down the bottom here, you've got your pots and pans and frying pans and all that sort of stuff. So well stocked little kitchenette. Over here then, we've got sliding wardrobe. This side is all shelves. Mrs. Toops already stuffed her coat into there. And then the other side is just hanging space. A few hangers up there. You've got an iron down there, but I haven't seen an ironing board, so I'm assuming you just do that somewhere. Somewhere, who knows? And then you've got this mirror here and sort of like little bench jobby which is handy and a little space underneath it where our bags are going to go. <coughs> In here you've got a hairdryer, you've got your mirror, your sink, you've got some soap there, a couple of towels, bog roll, bog brush, bog, and then shower with two shower heads and again some more soap over there and a little jobby there to put your own stuff in. Sliding door, fairly big. So plenty of room in there. Um, it's pretty clean as well, to be perfectly honest with you. Not got an issue with that. Then you've got this little seating area here with a table, that bottle of water was there when we came in. And then just looking at the curtains here, um, you can see they're a bit tatty, right? There's quite a lot of holes in them. And looking out, we are looking over the bins down there. Not got a problem with that, got to be honest. And then you've got a nice size, it's a bloody good size bed for Spain, I've got to be honest. Um, let me just have a feel and see. Yeah, it is actually a single mattress as well. So I, I don't know if many of you have stayed in Spain before, but quite often you get like two, three foot singles that are pushed together. That is a single mattress, which is nice. And that pillow is probably about, those pillows, probably about the size of like one and a half standard pillows. So yeah, no, that's, that's a, a really good size bed. And we've got a TV up on the wall opposite the bed. Nice and clean and, and, and bright and airy in here. And then here on the wall, that's a ethernet port. And then you've got one single Spanish plug. You've got a nice bit of artwork up on the walls there. And over this side, you haven't got the ethernet port, but you've got the Spanish plug again. And then even, look again, these curtains, they've got holes in them. And looking out here, so we've got no balcony on this room, but there's loads of little bars and everything just down there. And you can sort of see right off into the distance there, probably won't come out too well on the video. You can actually see the sea. I'm not gonna call this a sea view room by any stretch of the imagination, but at least you can see it. Um, <coughs> 
and then we've got Mrs. Toothies hiding behind the corner and I just saw her hand poke out, pointing and going, up there, up there. So we've got the air con up there. We've got another plug over here, um, which isn't incredibly useful because there's nowhere to stick anything on. Um, it'll have to reach down to the floor or hang, but you've got your temperature controls there. I suppose you could reach something round there and back onto that. Am I gonna have a moan about this? No, I'm not. Do you know why I'm not gonna have a moan about it? Because this was 143 quid a night. No, not a night, 143 quid for the, for the three nights that we're staying here. So, what's that? That's 47-ish quid, 48-ish quid a night um, for two of us. And we're right in the center of Old Town in Coralejo. So the port is like five minute walk away. Uh, Music Square is about a five minute walk away. I really can't moan about it, do you know what I mean? I would be, I would be really nitpicking. Yeah, all right, so the curtains could do with a bit of a refresh and this, that and the other. And it is a little tatty in places. The hotel itself is a little tatty in places. And we will wander around and do a bit of a, a sort of review of the hotel itself. But for, 47, 40, under 50 quid a night, say. I ain't, I really ain't gonna have a moan about it. Um, I think it's good for location, um, for the nice big bed, and the fact that we're only here for three nights, uh, and then we're heading over to Lanzarote, um, and we're gonna be out most of the time anyway, so. And just so I can show you that I wasn't lying, there's a Mrs. Tooth! Who <laughs> does not wanna be on camera because of her hair, bless her. We've been traveling all day and it's been blowing around everywhere. So anyway, folks, that is Hotel Vacanzi Urban Boutique. This is room 37 on the second floor. And we will give you a bit more of an insight into the rest of the hotel another time. They do have a roof terrace here as well with a jacuzzi on it. So we're probably gonna have a pop up and have a look see at that in a second. All right. Laters potatoes off your pot.